When I fell pregnant, I wanted to do everything I could to stay healthy. But I was also being bombarded with messages about what to do for my baby. I knew it was good for me to keep moving, but everyone was saying I should stop running and stop my high intensity interval training sessions. You can walk, they said, but be careful about losing your breath. Doctors would scare me by talking about how I might be cutting off oxygen to my baby. I had friends who told me stories of them doing a high intensity interval training session in the third trimester and having a premature baby the same night. I was scared, so I stopped exercising. My baby's health was more important than my own. It's normal for mums to focus on the health of their baby. Some people also think it's safer to avoid any risks in pregnancy, no matter how small. The problem is that exercise, particularly vigorous exercise, is a potent strategy for keeping mum healthy. It's an efficient way of improving a mother's mood and cardiovascular health. So we don't want mums missing out on those benefits if there are no risks to the baby. Turns out, there aren't. We did a systematic review of all the studies looking at vigorous exercise in pregnancy. After screening over 5,700 records, we found 15 that looked at vigorous exercise. 10 of these were cohort studies with a combined total of 32,000 participants. We also found five randomized control trials with over 600 participants. These studies looked at a range of outcomes for both mum and baby, and none showed any meaningful increase in risk. There was no difference in birth weight of babies when their mums did vigorous exercise. Similarly, there was no increased risk of the baby being born small or small after controlling for the gestational age. Vigorous exercise didn't affect mum's maternal weight gain and was actually associated with a lower chance of prematurity. As you can see, there's a significant increase in gestational age and reduced risk of prematurity, but these effects were small. It works out that vigorous exercise leads to an increase in gestation of one or two days. So it looks like my worries were unfounded. Keeping my high intensity interval training class or my morning run wouldn't have put my first baby at risk. In fact, it might have kept in the oven for a few extra days and it would have been good for my physical and mental health. This time around, I'm not taking any risks. I'm keeping up my vigorous exercise.